here we are again at Stockton, my old stamping ground. Last time I came here was last year, 2019. This place was still very much a football ground, but uh, in the last few months, they've converted it into a more of an athletics ground. They still put the uh, football nets up when required. And of course, this video is not intended for children. That's something we have to do. Uh, YouTube has put that on us these days. I spent a lot of my time through the 80s and 90s at this ground when it was a football ground, Stockton Sharks. But of late I've noticed an athletics track, uh, that net that you saw earlier, that's uh, for shot put and uh, discus. And there is a cricket pitch there as well, and the football uh, games are played a bit closer to where the beach is, the beach side of the uh, ground. There's that shot put and discus net there. I thought originally it was a, a cricket practice pitch, but it wasn't. Okay, now we're down at um, Mitchell Street and you can see the extent of the uh, washing away of the beach there. Ship waiting to go into harbour. And down towards the southern end of Stockton, you can see just a little bit of beach but not much. And these uh, little signs there, they pretty much say it all. Pan back over. Now that's where I was standing to shoot that last shot, you can see there. Pan left. And right, where once was salt bush years ago. Pembroke Street, Stockton. This is where we used to walk along to get from our place to the beach in the 60s. You'd come along this street, cross Mitchell Street, then walk through a heap of salt bush and then another half mile to get to the water's edge. Now look at it. And it's a rather windy day as you can probably guess. Now we're down at the eastern end of Hereford Street in what is called the Pines. And that there is the uh, World War commemorative epistemus. I'll get it out eventually. War Memorial, that'll do it. And that hotel there, or the Ocean View Flats, it was going to be a pub, but it ended up as just a block of flats. There was originally intended to be a harbour here, but it never eventuated. And where that sort of mesh fences that's where a road used to go around the pines you drive around on a dirt track and then come back out the cenotaph that's the word I was looking for to uh, commemorate the fallen in World Wars 1 to Vietnam and more recently uh, the Gulf War And spinning around, looking west along Hereford Street, 
with the Asian View Flats just to our right. On this building a bit more later, it's called Lexi's on the beach now, and we pan left to show the change rooms for the uh, Stockton Beach, the Stockton Beach Pavilion. And the erosion of the beach has required all of this to be fenced off. There's a fencing there. And it didn't stop me from getting in there to shoot this little sequence. And Lexi's used to be the uh, Stockton Beach kiosk, and my aunt Esther Traher once ran that. Rawson Park with Lynn Oval just inside the fence. Just panning around. We'll have a look at that later. That's the, over near the um, playgrounds behind the bowling club. We'll have a bit of a look at that later. There's the Stockton Bowling Club. And we're looking at the kids' playground just here. Not much compared to what they used to be when I was a kid. There used to be a seesaw, a merry-go-round, a large sort of a bench swing, and, of course, the ordinary swings. But uh, very little of anything for the kids to play on these days. There again is Lynn Oval. And here's one of the uh, picnic uh, areas and picnic tables. These have been a fixture for, in Stockton for I don't know how many years. Stockton Surf Club building, the clubhouse. And the other set of uh, picnic tables. As I said, these have been in Stockton. They've been a fixture in this area for I don't know how many, how, how many years they've been here. But those tables are actually fairly new because the original ones were all made of wood. One last look at uh, Rawson Park and Lynn Oval. Now we're down to Griffith Park East, panning right and looking at Newcastle as we go. From Nobbies around. Past the very wolf, it was a rather gloomy day. It was very windy when I shot this. Shot this on the 14th of March, by the way. Wind playing havoc with me uh, audio. Standing on the uh, pontoon bridge for the uh, ferry wharf. And what you see in the insert there is an opal card reader. You simply tap on, tap off, and they are for the buses, ferries, and the dinky toy tramway. And of course the railway as well. That was where the old ferry walk used to be before the current one. And as the credits begin to roll, that's the new skate park 
for the kids in Griffith Park West. Hope you've enjoyed this brief look around my old stomping ground at Stockton. As always, give it a like, uh, leave a comment, share and all subscriptions are very much welcome. Bye for now. There's this ferry going across to Newcastle. Bye bye all.